How to Build Self-Confidence Self-confident people are people who live their lives with just the right amount of self-esteem, not too high, not too low. They know that saying no is healthy and they have the self-esteem to make their no's clear. They also know how to face their fears head-on and are risk-takers. Self-confident people know that no matter what challenges life throws at them, they'll be able to deal with it. They choose to be positive about their outlook of life and they act out their positivity always. Here's the thing. No one was born with limitless self-confidence. We all learn it. Self-confident people aren't people with such natural skills as well. They also had to learn and build their self-esteem. Barry Davenport, a life passion coach and author said, Low self-confidence isn't a life sentence. Self-confidence can be learned, practiced and mastered, just like any other skill. Once you master it, everything in your life will change for the better. Note that low self-confidence is often built by comparison. Comparing yourself with people you see on social media or comparing your income with that of your friends. The more you compare yourself with people around you, the more envious you get and the more envy you feel, the more you feel bad about yourself. According to a 2008 study, Maxwell Maltz, an American cosmetic surgeon and author of psycho said, Low self-esteem is like driving through life with your handbrake on. Once again, self-confidence can be built. And in this video, I'll share with you some tips to help you develop self-confidence. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Think of yourself as what you want to be. The first place to start building your self-confidence is in your mind. According to Napoleon Hill, an American self-help author, best known for his book Think and Grow Rich, what the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. It all starts in the mind. Even your comparison with someone else started in your mind. To build self-confidence, start by visualizing the kind of person you want to become. Create a good perception of yourself and practice visualizing the better version of you. The version of you that is an achiever, achieving its goals. Be the confident person you want to become in your mind. Visualize talking like one, acting like one, dressing like one, and doing things like one. Until you are able to picture yourself as one, until you accept that you are one, until you see yourself as one, you may never become one. Once again, it all starts in the mind. 2. Change your thought pattern towards yourself. Negativity and comparison are killers of self-confidence. If you're going to develop self-confidence, then you need to change your thought pattern towards yourself. Shut down negativity and begin affirming positive thoughts always. According to Nikki Carneville, affirmations are a powerful tool to deliberately install desired beliefs about yourself. The truth is that we tend to behave in the way we see ourselves, which is why you need to intentionally start thinking positively to change the mental picture you have of yourself. Look at the mirror and say the things you want out loud. Affirmations are positive and uplifting statements that we say to ourselves. When we constantly speak the things we want to ourselves, we tend to believe them over time, and once we believe these things, we begin to act them out. However, to achieve self-confidence through the power of affirmation, you have to constantly and intentionally speak the words you want out loud to yourself. Be intentional, be consistent, and speak out loud. 3. Focus on your successes Low self-esteem comes when we dwell on the one time we failed at something rather than the nine times we did well at something else. Every one of us has strengths and weaknesses. Dwelling on your weaknesses and forgetting that you are not alone when it comes to that will only make you feel bad about yourself. T. Harv Ecker, the author of Secret Mind of a Millionaire, said if you are insecure, guess what? The rest of the world is too. Do not overestimate the competition and underestimate yourself. You are better than you think. So, instead of focusing on your past failures, focus on all the things that you are good at and focus on all the times you achieved success doing a thing. 
no matter how little the task was. This will help you build self-confidence. Denise Waitley, an American motivational speaker, writer, and consultant said, To establish true self-confidence, we must concentrate on our successes and forget about the failures and the negatives in our lives. 4. Take care of yourself. Self-confidence can be said to be the result of good physical health, emotional health, and social health. So, if your emotional and social health is stable, but your physical health isn't, you might end up dealing with low self-esteem. Likewise, if you have good physical health and emotional health without good social health. In other words, a balance of these three states of health is what results in self-confidence. The truth is that it is hard to feel good about yourself if you're abusing your body. If you keep skipping on sleep and you have a poor unhealthy eating habit, constantly drinking to stupor and so on, you're likely going to dislike what you see in the mirror in only a matter of days. You owe it to yourself to take absolute care of your body. Parker Palmer said, Self-care is never a selfish act. It is simply good stewardship of the only gift I have, the gift I was put on earth to offer to others. 5. Build yourself to be an expert at something. Find out what you are good at doing. Once you have done that, develop and equip yourself to become an expert in that field. This is because most of the time, our self-confidence emerges in our abilities. Recognizing what you're good at and trying to build on those things will help you to build self-confidence in your abilities. Summary To build your self-confidence 1. Visualize the kind of person you want to be in your mind. 2. Constantly affirm your thoughts by speaking out loud to yourself. 3. Focus on your strengths, abilities, and successes. 4. Self-confidence is a total of your physical, emotional, and social health. So take care of your body. 5. Recognize what you are good at and become an expert in that field. We boost our confidence when we are sure of our capabilities. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.